Michael, many congratulations. You've yeah. set the statement out and set the bar in the second round of the William Hill World Darts Championship. No, oh, this more of a statement for me was my last two years playing Baddy and just want to get that win and have a decent Christmas. <laughs> it's been a while, so yeah, just getting that win's more important. There's no statement, no nothing. I'm not saying I'm going to win here, I'm going to smash this person. That was a win, do my own thing, I'm happy. You touched on two years, it's hard to believe that the last game you won here was that semi final against Nathan Asper. If someone had said that to you after the final, would you have just laughed it off? Um, Thing, things like that do hurt, and it, it's it's been more of a, just getting over him. It's like, you know what, you can't dwell on past. This is a past for a reason. Just keep looking forward, and it was that tonight. I could have thought, well, I've not I've not won the last two meetings here. Just just keep going. But the only thing I kept thinking about tonight was last time I played Ron in the Worlds, I made the final. <laughs> That's all I kept going through my head. Just be him now, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Were there a few nerves heading back here then? Yesterday he was, I texted my mate, he plays for Preston, Patrick, I said mate them butterflies, are, then my stomach was in knots, and he went no you'll be fine, he was texting me saying you're the best player in the world, you've just got to believe her, and he was like you will do it, and I was like yeah I'll be fine, once they send me name I'll be fine, but for now it's killing me, he went no no, he started texting more to me, he went mate you'll be grand, you'll be good, just focus, and yeah, I just want to thank him for that, he helped me through the other night when I was absolutely crapping myself. <laughs> This year you've been more yourself, and I know you said it before, it was all about the floor tournaments. What's changed in your mindset to get back to the old Michael Smith? Winning. I had, uh, I had the three years where I didn't win anything. I think that was from was 2015 to 2018, I don't think it went. And then I finally won the tournament, then I made, I think, like two or three TV finals. And then I had a year off without winning anything again, and then finally this year I've won one I think or two, two put one two, one of them. And I was like, right, you gotta focus now. It's like everything I did in my ranking I was in the top ten by only floor events. And I was getting beat first round of T V and then I started making quarters, semis and getting lucky making finals. And it was like you've got to put them both together now and I have done the last couple of months. The rankings, I know you you slipped down but a good run here, potentially you're back in the, the top six, top five in the world. Mm. You say I've slipped down, I only slipped down to ninth. So I'm not, I've not slipped that far. I've never, I, all these critics that look at me and say, oh, you've never won nothing, but I've been here for seven years in the top uh, top ten. So it's not like I slip and move. And, slip. and I've been number three without winning the tournament. So <laughs> I'm not fussed. I, I don't slip, I still I defend everything that I've done. And yeah, I still win the Pro Tour every now and again. It's about winning that first one now. And as soon as I get that monkey off my back, it's. It'd be a different story then. If you were to have a good run here, would you put yourself back in Premier League contention? Uh, the only one I want is to lift that title. That's. I always say I want to make the quarters, and then my think about it, it's just. I've waited too long now. This is my 11th World Championship. So, it, I've been here since I was 20. So I, I, I know I've made it once. I've made the quarters once. I think last 16 is the best I've from that end. So now I wanna I wanna push on, I wanna actually win this event now. Christmas approaching. How do as a player, how do you approach it obviously? What's going on in the world? Is it lock yourself away with just your family so nothing can go wrong? Uh, I'm about to drive home now once I finish these interviews. I've got a fella coming from the abattoir to kill one of my turkeys and five of my ducks. So <laughs> it's Christmas dinner sorted and boxing day and stuff like that with the family, all the ducks and whatever he kills. And then I'll have a chuck tomorrow on my own or with Junior. I'll have an hour or so, Christmas Eve with the kids again. Christmas Day I'll have off and then Boxing Day, I'll travel back down here. So I still put in four or five hours the next couple of days. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Just following up from something you said on Sky, you said you have a point to prove. Is that a point to prove to yourself or to sort of the doubters? Not to myself. I have nothing to prove to anyone out there. It, it's about me. I'm, and I'm not going to say I know, I believe that I should be winning events now and, and I can't keep saying, oh I'm unlucky, we'll wait to the next one, we'll wait to this one, we'll wait to that one, it's, I can't keep saying that, I'm, <laughs> I was saying that when I was 20, now I'm 31 now, so I've only got, what, 10 years left, 11, 12, hopefully, if I win the Worlds it cuts it down by another 5 years, so, if I get, if, if I win this this weekend I'll be done by 40 and then, 
I'm happy then. But if we don't win now, I'll be about 104 on stage <laughs> until I win it. So it's just a point to myself more than anything. So you really relaxed, like really, really chilled out. Is it the case of just putting less pressure on yourself now? I think keeping calm helps because, like, if I would have stressed myself out on stage, I would have been stressed now in the interviews. It's just get everything out on the practice board, all my swearing, all my anger, all the punching stuff. <laughs> as long as it gets left in the practice room, up on stage, be. But I've been working on the focusing while I'm throwing the calm myself down, no rushing, no nothing. And you can see it now in the interviews, it's just, I couldn't, no, you, just, you see it now with what I've been working on, you see your interviews are on the, on the stage as well. Do you believe in the fate? Do you think it meant to be that your first major could be the World Championship? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not swear I'm not bothered if it's my first or last, as long as I get one. And I know I will get one if it's this, this year or... In 20 years or 10 years, I know we'll get one. It would be nice if it was this year. <laughs> I'd spend, if I won this this year, was it January the 3rd we play? I wouldn't even play the Masters, I don't think. I'd have literally two months in a different country. Just chill out and, you know what, just relax. And that's how, that's our thing, mate. I've been doing it for 15, 16 years now. Win that, that's my dream. Lived, world champion and I, had, I don't have a point to prove to myself or anyone else. No, you're welcome. You say you, you've been here 10, 11 years now. Well, I mean, how much have you changed as a player? When you look back, how proud are you and what you have achieved? I have a good beard now. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, I turned up my first year thinking I'd close down here for this is an easy game. Yeah, won three legs. And I had Barn here for I'll do this, win one leg. And then fine, I got over, I got over there with um, Hashimoto in my third year, and that was like with a 73 or 74 average. That's when I beat Phil as well, 2013. And that kind of gave me that kick up the ass that I needed. Where even though Phil wasn't playing his best, I was still just beating the world number one on TV in his in his favourite tournament, and it gave me that boost. And I think that's what changed it over the years, just trying to grow up and be me instead of being someone someone else that someone else wants me to be, just being what I want to be as well. Can you talk about retirement early, <laughs> early 40s, is that genuinely something that you're in? It's, it's more the kids than anything, like Junior's just about to turn eight now, Casper's four, and he's just looking at him thinking about it, I see you twice a week. <laughs> I could, I'm not going to try to work it out, but eight years of that, it's, it's, it's different. It's like 104 days a year, so you get to see my 365. And I don't want to be, I don't want to be 56, 57, 58, still on that stage. And my kids are 20 odd, and I've never seen them. If if I was 40, 45, my kids would be 18, 18, 18 to 20, and I still get to enjoy my own life, not being a cripple on stage. It, 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 it's weird. It's just I want to spend a lot of time with them and be here. But then there's a fine line then, it's when I'm done and more time with them.